My latest project is so close to being finished, but if there's one thing I've learned during this endless DIY renovation, it's that things never go to plan. This week I was relying on a sunny weather forecast to pick up more building materials, but it seems winter and spring are enjoying their dance around each other for just a little bit longer. It started with rain, so I took some time to continue with painting jobs in the tiny guest house. I'll be working on more interior jobs this week, like making shelving units, so I wanted the shell to be more finished. I decided to mix the sand colored paint with a bit more white to lighten it up and even though the difference isn't huge, I think it does look nicer than before. Once I put in some better lighting, the room should feel less dark and more warm. When the rain stopped, the snow had gone and I took the opportunity to start work in the garden, which is to create the first wildflower patches. I've been collecting seeds and I am so looking forward to sowing them. I've been laying cardboard and plastic on a few spots in front of the house, which should kill the grass underneath, but honestly, I don't think it's really going to work for me. I decided to just start shoveling away the topsoil. It took a few hours to create this tiny section and I want a lot of flowers so I will be repeating this job quite a few more times these coming months. But right now the tiny guest house is my main focus so let's remind ourselves of what we're doing here. This is a quick 3D model of the space and the joinery I want to put in there. A desk, a sink area and some shelving near the sleeping room. This sketch shows what I'll be working on this week. This week I'm hoping to finish most of the joinery in the tiny guest house. Joinery is a big word, um, it's, it's just it's shelves, not really just shelves. But I want to finish that and I have some stain which is currently in town so I need to pick up this package from the post office and then I can stain all of the shelving. And I also need to start going back to the hardware store to pick up more timber for the ceiling. So that's mostly next week's project, I think. So yeah, that's what we have. We have joinery and we have the ceiling. And other than that, painting. Oh, it never ends. I'm looking at using mostly scrap wood for all of these little things that I want to build. These are mostly leftovers. And I think this might be really good for the shelf brackets. I am going to custom make shelf brackets and let's try this. Big piece of wood. add shelving on both these sides. I'll have three or four rows. So I'm going to look at some scrap wood. The sizes may not really line up. <laughs> I spend so much time searching 
for the right brackets. Show brackets are pricey. Um, the nice ones, at least, like the black iron ones are really pricey. I decided to make them myself. I saw a picture of just a really simple triangular shaped shelf bracket. I made this little sample. Shelf. Brackets. Little holes. That's the idea. <laughs> So I'm gonna just make one or two and then I see whether it actually works. There's this cut going down the timber, which is actually causing an issue with the way I cut these. Maybe I should put them in a different direction, but then I waste more timber, so I might glue these together. But I'm going to put some holes in here first. Um, so they will be used like this. I'll make two holes and then see how it goes attaching them. Okay, I'm not so sure about this. All of the timber is breaking off. Doesn't look very good. Needless to say, I thought this was going to be very quick very quick DID job, make a couple of brackets. Also this one broke, so I'm gonna have to glue this together. I made these two for now, so I'm gonna try them out, see if it looks good. I divided this up in three shelves. It lines up with the window. And I'm going to do two on this side and then for the small shelf on the other side, I'm actually just going to do one in the middle because that's all it needs. These holes are really big. It doesn't really look very nice, but maybe it's okay. It's rustic. So, do ignore the fact that this one is broken. But yeah, I guess 
that's okay. It's a little bit flimsy, these, but. This is pretty much all the wood that I'm going to put in the guest house, all the little shelving things. And I'm just going to make sure that everything is sanded because I'm going to start staining it. Went into town, picked up stain, and I took my new bike and trailer into town for the first time and I picked up food and I filled up the trailer like crazy. <laughs> And I spent so much money on food, it's absolutely ridiculous. I've got enough food for a really long time now. Yeah, I hope the colour is good. If I don't like the stain colour, then, well, that's too bad because that is what's going to happen. <laughs> I feel like every time I've tried out a stain, it looks so much different on the timber compared to the samples that you see in a shop. So I'm just gonna go with it. All of this is going to be a nice medium brown, I think, if it looks the way I think it's going to look. And yeah, once the stain is dry, I can start putting it up in a guest house, so that will be fun. <laughs> that interesting this looks very different from <laughs> from I googled online um, for people who were actually using this exact color it looks very different and it looks very different on the samples it's much lighter it's fine happy days So I was planning on doing quite a few things outside, sand, and I was actually going to go to the hardware store again tomorrow to pick up more building materials with my bike. According to the weather forecast, there were quite a few sunny days coming up, so it was perfect timing, except something happened. <laughs> like, what? It just... It just snowed. It just, it snowed all night <laughs> and it's gorgeous, but that's a lot of snow. So I have no idea what I'm going to do now. I don't know what I can do.
there's not all that much I can do with the snow right now so I'm going to sand these I do have a sanding machine but they are so heavy don't really want to hold them up in the air I think it'll just be a pain so I'm going to try and sand by hand see how it goes oh and this colour has come out very different from what I thought it was going to look like I wanted it to be a warm medium brown but it sort of really looks like the stain I used in the house the same that I ended up diluting because I didn't like the way it looked I mean it's nice it's just it's different from what I wanted it to be I just wanted a little warmth in this tiny space What does that look like? <sighs> yeah, okay. I'm just drinking a hot tea before I dare to go outside again. <laughs> I am really looking forward to it being warmer. I am a little bit sick of working outside in a cold. I like working outside but just constantly being in a cold. If I could at least heat the guest house then that would be comfortable. I can just cut and sand outside go back indoors and have it a bit warmer but i guess that's just not really going to happen until i finish the ceiling which will be last and i have no idea when the snow is going to melt i really hope it's going to just melt really fast at one point so i can pick up the materials and finish because i'm getting really close Let's finish the brackets first.
some things together today, which is super exciting. I have the shelving around the desk area. I have this sink area and then I've got the shelving. Now I haven't stained everything properly yet, but I just want to, I want to see some results. I'm going to do this one first. <laughs> Look at that, I've got this tiny shelf brackets and I keep attaching them in the wrong in the wrong positions. So now they have holes everywhere. But that's okay. So I'm going to have a shelf one shelf up here and then one here and two down here. So I'm putting the good side at the bottom because I'm not tall enough to see the top. <laughs> Is this going to fit? Oh, please tell me it's going to fit. It... Oh, I oh, know. I shortened this one a little bit. Hopefully, it's going to fit now. And... Oh, gosh. <laughs> no, why? Third time to charm, we hope. Despite how painfully crooked the whole thing is, it does genuinely look nice. Yeah. I added a couple of brackets just to fix some of these to the wall.
The next step is well, I'm going to place a little sink. Very basic structure. I'm just going to attach these to the wall with a few brackets and place the counter on top. We're just going to look a little bit like this. This was the ceiling. I cleaned this up so I can use them here. They will need to be stained. Yeah, I thought this is a good start. And then I'm going to have a little curtain go down the front here. Let's just pretend that we're almost done. I want to know what this looks like when it's pretty. This is not finished. I think it will come together a lot more when this is a little bit more pulled together. I think this corner is going to be really cute when it's a little bit more intentional right now. It's just a little bit odd with this bit sticking out in a corner and it's not symmetrical with the desk which really bothers me but once I have a shelf up here and the decanter is up there, we've got some curtains, I think it's going to look really cute going to look like a little kitchen area. A bit of shelving for some extra things. I might actually put some rails underneath this shelf so you can put towels under it. Another option would have been to integrate this sink area into the desk but I just really like having a good little corner for desk things and then to keep the watery things separate. Also I'm going to have shaker style hooks along the entire top of the walls in the entire space so there's lots of like hooks that you can hang things off. And despite the stain just not being a colour that I needed it to be, it's so much darker. I think this has turned into such a nice little rustic shelving area desk nook and this is where the sun comes from during the day this is the only source of warmth really <laughs> in this in this place so i think it'll be really nice to be here and do some writing obviously there's more staining to be done yeah to put in the ceiling but i need to wait for the snow to melt before i can go and pick up materials i also need to get some lights and put those in so i can replace all of these ones that are hanging around here and obviously fix all the wiring it's all a bit of a mess right now but yeah i think it looks really cute this is a really good start
It's not the right stain, but I may have mentioned that before. And I'm looking forward to moving in here. How strange will that be? To move, to actually live in this little space. But I think it will be exciting to, to be somewhere new. I've been in cooped up in that one tiny room like, since I bought it. So it'll be amazing to be somewhere else. And somewhere else that's a little bit more finished as well, so... We're excited!